Hello, students. I have today a summary of the story Chrysanthemum. And remember that a summary is when we talk about what happened in the story, but not give every detail. We want to generally know what happened in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end, in shorter, fewer words than the entire book. So I am going to summarize Chrysanthemum for you as we're going through this. And you do not need to do any reading right now. I would rather you put your attention on the pictures to remind you of the flow of the story. And uh, yes, that will help in understanding our summary of the book. So first of all, we're looking at a picture of a real book. So uh, uh, there's a title, which is here, Chrysanthemum. And the title of the book is always on the front cover. And down here, we have the author's name by Kevin Hankies. So when you write your own books, you're going to get to make up your own title. And you can make it look however you want. You can make it artistic. And you get to put your own name on it. And you guys will all be making your own books in the near future. So there is Chrysanthemum. And now I'm going to begin the summary. So Chrysanthemum was born and her mother and father loved her, and they named her Chrysanthemum. They thought it was a beautiful name. And growing up as a kid, she, she uh, was a happy kid, and she loved her name. And uh, she grew older and older, finally old enough to go to school. And she reaches the uh, age of uh, going to school for the first time, and off she goes. Looks like she's happy to go to school. However, we get to the classroom and the teacher takes attendance and calls everyone's name. And when the kids hear Chrysanthemum, they all laugh because her name is so big and it has so many letters. And this makes Chrysanthemum feel wilted. Wilted. That means, well, that's what a flower does when it droops down. It doesn't have any water. You can see her. She looks like a wilting flower. She's miserable. She's unhappy. And the kids keep making fun of her the whole day at school and making her feel bad. And she goes home um, very sad about what happened during the day. So uh, her mother and father made her feel better that evening. She played some games and, and uh, yeah, started to feel better. And then she went to bed. And that's where she had a very pleasant dream that she had a new name. She wakes up ready for school again. She's already writing her name again. She might have just forgotten completely about the other kids. Chrysanthemum wilted again when the kids started making fun of her again when she gets to school. And they're laughing at her even there when they're on the mats. She's covering her ears. And it just keeps going. They keep making fun of her. And she has a miserable second day of school again. Look at that. What an unfortunate way to start school. Her parents made her feel a little bit better, but when she went to bed that night, she had a nightmare. The worst nightmare ever that Victoria, that mean Victoria, she turned, to, turned her into a flower, into a chrysanthemum, and was plucking out her petals. Not a, not a happy dream. So now... Going back to school in the rain, feeling miserable. But today they have the music teacher stop in, Mrs. Twinkle. And Miss Twinkle had them do some music in a little class musical event. And the kids were still making fun of uh, Chrysanthemum, still Chrysanthemum, the daisy, because they made Chrysanthemum a daisy. And um, yeah, they're still making fun of her, but as soon as Miss Twinkle heard that, she realizes, whoa, wait, my name is a flower. My name is Delphinium. Yeah, that's a flower's name. That also has a really long name, a lot of letters. And Miss Twi Mrs. Twinkle is going to name her baby girl Chrysanthemum. And that makes Chrysanthemum feel good about her own name again. And it even makes... The kids envious of her name and want to change their own names as well. And she goes off into the rainbows in the sunset, a happy kid. 
All right, so that was a summary. It was actually a long summary that I just gave you. So uh, let me give you the shorter summary. Okay, and I'll just pick a few pictures to do that. I'm going to give you the short summary. So Chrysanthemum was a kid who loved her name. But when she went to school, the kids made fun of her and she didn't like it. But in the end, she changed her mind. She found out her name was beautiful when another teacher used it herself and the other kids were even envious and wanted to be named after a flower as well. So that was the shorter summary. I gave you a longer summary earlier when we went to every picture and then I just gave you the short oral summary. And that is the idea behind summaries. And uh, you're going to have to hear this a whole lot of times to be able to do it yourselves. But um, that's why we're practicing in school now. So thank you for watching this again. The Summary of Chrysanthemum.